Hello and welcome back to Wii 4 Play. This is Darren Plays and this is Scribblenauts Unlimited. This is a little bit, a little bit more of a light-hearted game I thought I'd bring you today. Uh, I mean, my other series is pretty serious, so I thought I'd bring Tone down, have a little bit of fun with this one. Uh, I saw this ages ago. I couldn't wait for the UK release. It's finally been released on Steam. I saw it in a sale the other day. Thought I'd pick it up, give it a go, and see if we can make a little series out of this. So let's see how it goes. Let's press start. Our story begins with Grandpa Edgar and Grandma Julie. You might not believe this, but Grandpa Edgar used to be the world's greatest adventurer. Grandma Julie would beg to differ. She was also an adventurer. Edgar would often brush away vines Looks a bit like Indiana Jones. Wars, thought to be undisturbed for generations, only to find Julie was already there having lunch. <laughs> <laughs> they competed like this on adventure after adventure. <laughs> on one adventure, Julie beat Edgar to the top of a long lost pyramid. But the treasure she found was an engagement ring. Aww. The two of them semi retired to start a family, and they continued starting that family until they had 42 children. Wow. She was sliding day, them out. Mom and Dad gave Maxwell and me two amazing gifts. The first was a magic globe that let you travel anywhere in the world. The second was the most amazing notebook. This notebook let you write any word in it. And poof, the word would come to life. Hmm. <laughs> Our parents were worried about us turning out to be spoiled <laughs> little brats. Good, yes. So they sent us out to face the challenges of the outside world. On the road to the city, we ran into an old man who said he was hungry. Hello. Maxwell. I'm an old man. Him, but he played a Whoa. nasty trick. The apple was rotten. Oh, the old man spat it out as soon as he tasted it and was very, very angry. He looked pissed. As he cast some sort of magic. He called us spoiled little kids and then disappeared. It didn't seem like anything had happened. But when Maxwell turned to continue down the road, I couldn't follow him. The old man had put a curse on me that was turning me to stone. We didn't know what to do. Luckily, our brother Edwin's farm was nearby. Boy, you should have seen how angry Edwin was. He couldn't believe what we did to the old man and said we probably deserved what we got. Lucky for us, Edwin knew about starites. Starites are magical objects born out of the happiness of others. When you do enough things to make others happy, you will find starite. Hopefully, if Maxwell used the notebook's power for good, he could collect enough starite to remove the curse. Maxwell said, That's it! I'm gonna go out and do good things for all the people I can find. I'm gonna get all the starites in the world, and I'm gonna make you better, Lily. So Maxwell grabbed his notebook and headed for the door. Okay, that was a that was a pretty cool intro. I like that. I like the art style of this game. It's very like very childlike and Feels it's all been hand drawn. I should just say that I haven't played any of the other games, not on the DS or any of the other consoles, so this is a new experience for me and hopefully a new experience for you. Let's get started. Okay, let's click on him. Earn a star right by helping Edwin with his award winning pig. Okay. The basics. Let's start. Turn the runt of the litter into an award winning pig. Write an object to help Maxwell scrub the pig. Okay, use the notepad. Okay, cleaning products. Uh, let's say a hose. Oh. I haven't got the best spellings. So bear with me. Uses to attach multiple objects together. Okay. Let's drag this to the max. 
that's one. Pick up. Clean. Ah, oh, look at that. Click the progress bar. Remove. Okay. Drag this into the trash bin. <laughs> it's like a snake. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> it's in there now. The pig looks great. Now I use an adjective to increase the pig's size. Okay, so click on him. Add adjective. Okay, massive. Okay. Yeah. Help the pig win the talent competition using an adjective and a noun to create wings large enough to carry the pig. Hints are unlocked over time. Click on the associated object to view its hint. Okay. I need wings large enough to help me fly. Okay. Dragon wings. Okay. Try making huge wings or large wings. Oh. Okay. Uh. Medium wings. Okay, let's see if that works. Uh. Wings. Try making cute. Ah, oh, so we've got to put huge. All right. Huge wings. Yeah, there you go. The magic backpack stores objects for later. Throw the wings in the backpack and wait for the judges to arrive. Okay. Drag these into the magical backpack. Where's the magical? Ah, oh, there it is. I see. Done. Oh, the judges are here. John Lennon and co. Look at this. Like a cowboy, John Lennon and... Another cowboy? I don't know. Farmer, maybe? I don't know. Okay, take the wings from the magical bat Let's do that. Drag these into the lower right corner. Okay. Drag the wings onto the pig. Done. He's off. Look at him go. Blah, 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 Oh, look at that first prize. Of course it is. A flying pig is going to win. Easy peasy. That was, that was easy enough. Okay. Oh, do I, I guess I go and collect the starlight. Got it. Yeah, and I'll do your little bit. The basics completed. Total star rights won. Okay, let's continue on. Earn shards by helping people. Ten shards will form a star right. Use the star right vision to find shards. Okay. Use star right vision. Okay. Click golden objects for hints. Help grow sprout. Great object. Uh, uh, what's that stuff you use when you want to make something grow quicker? Like, is it like fertilizer? Fertilizer. I'm no farmer. My granddad was, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, fertilizer. Seems to work. No. Ha! Ah! Use. Okay, I don't think that's gonna work. 
Um, let's try water then. Use notepad. Great object. Water. Let's take this water. You. No. Pick up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what did that? Did that? What? Did that? Okay. The plants guard away the other shard of tree. Reset the level for the objects to their original state, keeping it on shards. Ah, oh, okay. Escape. Reset. Yes. Okay, we're resetting. Here we go. Back to the st start of the level. Okay, let's try water this time. Well, rarity, copyrighted materials, and proper nouns are not allowed. Ooh. Oh, okay. I can't sort the plant. Moving on. I still got an opportunity to get that then. Nope, that was it. Fair enough. Uh, my kitty is stuck at the top of the tree. Get her for me. Okay, create an object. Uh, ladder. Obviously. Obviously. It's a ladder. That's what people need. And then I climb it. They go. That's e that was easy. Oh. <laughs> He sort of just floated, but alright, alright. Okay, pick up. Alright, let's, let's, let's climb back down this. Go back down. Whoop! I just sort of like fly up and down it, that's hilarious. <laughs> okay, there you go, give her the cat. There you go. Kitty, come home! Level complete! Alright! Yeah, good job everybody! Then basically was just the first step towards saving Lily. Use the bus stop to begin your journey to Capital City. Oh, I can play as his brother, Edwin. Oh. Click on him and pick Avatar. Yeah. Change your current avatar here. Okay. Oh, that's should I play as who should I play Maxwell? Let's try him out. Come on, look. Yellow, right? Oh, look at this. Well, I think I'll leave it there for you, for you guys now. Um, as always, any games you want me to play, just throw me a comment below, and I will try and get around them. I also have the Twitter, I have the Facebook, I have Tumblr. The links will be in the description below. Uh, hope you enjoy this, and until next time.